Are you always confused when a guy can't get enough of you within the first two weeks of meeting you? And then boom, he's a ghost once again. Isn't it frustrating to consistently be trying to figure out what it is you're doing wrong that is repelling these men away from you? I'm going to be honest with you. It's not really about what you're doing and it's more about the men and how they operate, which is why on today's show, we're going to be discussing why he acts interested and then disappears. That way you can finally have a clear understanding of why this extremely strange situation continues to happen to you. Number one, which is the two types of interests. Romantic interest is number one, and we're going to have lustful interest is number two. Romantic interest is his desire to make you his wife, his girlfriend, and eventually make you his wife. Romantic interest can only, only, only stem from his desire to build a long-term lasting serious r relationship with you the second thing I'm, I'm talking about lustful interest now i'm gonna break this down for you in a very clear concise way so that you can understand the difference when guys are going to show lustful interest in you you have to understand that there's not a lot of blood flow up here there's a lot of blood flow going on down here. In the process of guys growing and maturing and having more relationships, they come to the realization that if I want more pineapples, we call it pineapples on the show instead of saying, you know, SEX, okay? If I want more pineapples as a man, men grow to understand that the best way for me to extract pineapples from you, the woman, is not by tell coming up to you and saying, hey girl, uh, I hope you know there's a lot of blood flow going on uh, in between my legs. Do you think uh, you could open up your legs and allow me to uh, jackrabbit all of this rock solidness inside of you? No, because they know if they come up to you and they say that, you're going to go, that's disgusting please get at least 20 feet away from me. So they grow to understand that the best way to approach that is to appeal to your emotions, make you feel like this is your moment, make you feel like you're a Disney princess. He wants to tell you all the ways that he can't wait to build a life with you. He wants to tell you how he wants you to have his kids and how he wants you guys to get married. This is why the interest at the very beginning feels a lot like the romantic interest that I was referring to before. However, it's not the same as romantic interest because hidden underneath the romantic interest is really the lustful interest. The BS meter should be going off whenever you meet someone that starts laying it on thick, which is why you'll notice that whenever a guy has lustful interest in you, he pours it on thick at the very beginning. He's trying to hammer it home. I love you so much and you're so amazing and everything is so awesome. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, wait, I just met you. Can you take a chill pill? No, I don't want to take a chill pill. I just think you're so amazing. You're like a Disney princess. It's like you're Rapunzel and your hair just fell down from the sky. You're like an angelic figure. Now, number two, you need to understand some men are what we call in the Players Club microwave men. Microwave men are men who want things quickly, efficiently, and painless when it comes to relationships. So they want you to do a lot for them without them giving you a lot, without giving a lot in return. And they want you to do it very quickly. Even more than just sleeping with you, they want you to give them girlfriend treatment as well without them doing much for you. Because the same way when you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time chefing up on the stove and you just pop something in the microwave to make it clean, easy, and simple is the reason why we call them microwave men because it's the same thing with the men. And you'll start to notice Guys get irritated, agitated when time is passing by and he's thinking to himself, uh, I thought this was only going to take one date. As you're not sleeping with him or not giving him anything or not allowing him to have that satisfaction of being with you, you're going to start to notice cracks in that personality. So what was once I fell in love with you at, fir at first sight, as soon as I laid my eyes on you, I knew how amazing you are. Time goes on, you start to notice different parts of his personality that isn't aligned with that, right? It's like a dam of water and this dam of water is being held by a material that can can't actually hold this amount and volume of water. So what's going to happen is while you might build the dam initially and the water might hold for that dam, it's not supposed to hold forever. Okay. The material is not strong enough to hold that water in forever. So what you're going to notice is after a while, there's just going to be one tiny crack just the smallest crack. The, the crack is going to be like less than a centimeter and you're just going to see a little bit of water just and then two months is going to go by and then another crack is going to come 
and that crack's going to be a little bit bigger and that crack's going to be now it's like a whole fountain of water okay now we got a fountain of water but it's okay this dam's holding back damn near a whole lake who cares but then after a while each individual crack gets bigger and bigger and bigger until boom number three is the fact that you are a shiny new toy let's be very clear on something men have this character trait where a lot of them tend to be the most interested in whoever is the shiny new toy to the point where there are a lot of men that actually can't help themselves and they're addicted to this when i talk about the shiny new toy what i really am referring to is the aspect that every girl that's brand new feels like the next best girl to him so he gets super excited about any girl that is new but in reality he's not actually super excited about the girl and her personality he's more excited about the fact that you are new so when he comes across you for the first time in the first two weeks you're brand new you're a shiny new toy and so he gets all hyped up. He's like a dog. He's, his, his tail's wagging, his tongue's out. He's so excited that you're brand new and he can't wait to play with you uh, literally and figuratively. And he can't wait to get some access to you. After two weeks, three weeks, one month, you're not as shiny and new anymore. You're kind of mundane. You're kind of regular. You're kind of there all the time. And then, you know, randomly comes along a new girl that he meets when he goes out or he meets in a friend group or whatever at a bar or whatever. And now all of a sudden she's the brand new shiny new toy. And then he gets all excited to see her. And so a lot of times what happens is in the process of him showing a lot of interest in you at the beginning, you're the shiny new toy. And so you get left in the dust because then he disappears on you after you stop being the brand new shiny new toy. This is part of the reason why I tell you to pace yourself in relationships and pace him. Because the craziest part about this is this doesn't really have anything to do with you. This has a lot to do with men and how they think. And the fact that you're not going to be protecting yourself if you if you just go along with the idea that, oh, we're both so excited to be in this relationship right now because it's brand new. You've got to be the one that's I'm going to stay sane. I'm going to stay calm. I'm excited too, and I like you too, but I need to remember to myself that part of the reason you probably like me is because I'm shiny and new. So let's see what happens when I'm no longer shiny and new to you. Let's see how you treat me. Now, number four, this is okay. Number four, this is stop pooping time. So if you're on the toilet and you're pooping, you suck your poop back in. If you're washing dishes, stop washing dishes. If you're doing a set at the gym, stop your set and listen up, perk your ears up. It's time to pay attention because this part's really important. Pretty nut confusion. You know how we say, post nut clarity this is pre nut confusion men are also going to easily be able to trick themselves into thinking that their desire for you is based on how much they want to be with you a lot of times also the men that you're dealing with are also confused in their own minds i know this sounds crazy they're confused in their own minds because their wires are crossed they don't understand that i'm pursuing this girl simply because i'm physically attracted to her and there's a lot of blood flow to my lower extremities they actually some men actually genuinely think in their mind i'm pursuing you this heavily because i'm romantically interested in you but they only realize that they're not romantically interested in you after they sleep with you and they're like huh actually now that i've slept with you i don't feel this intense burning desire to like pursue you or a relationship with you and they come to the realization themselves that yeah actually I don't think I want you as much as I thought I wanted you. And it's not going to make sense to you because you're like, how can guys not know the difference between those two things? Because they're not emotionally mature enough to understand that this isn't romantic interest, they project it onto you as if I just know that I like you so much because I just feel it because they don't understand that this intense feeling I'm feeling is not the burning desire to be in a relationship with you. This intense feeling I'm feeling is my natural hunger to chase and pursue after a woman who I find physically attractive and to, you know, have pineapples with her. And so you, the more emotionally mature person who understands the wide range of emotions and joins the players club. So you have a better understanding of this type of stuff 
stuff. You take your time when you're meeting guys and dating them so that you can better dif differentiate, okay, what type of interest are you actually showing me? And are you even yourself confused about the type of interest that you're showing me? And number five, we have projection. Now, this one is going to be painful. I don't want to hurt your feelings or make you feel bad, but I have to be real with you. What happens at the very beginning is because there's a huge gap in his knowledge and understanding of who you are, what he does instead is he fills in those holes of your personality, right? Based on his imagination. So what do you think if you're a shiny new toy and he feels like he wants to like you, what do you think he's going to do with his imagination when he imagines what you're like? He's going to imagine you as the most perfect, amazing princess of a woman in all the land. You've got a 10 out of 10 dump truck, 10 out of 10 giddies and a 10 out of 10 smile. You're 10 out of, you're a thousand out of 10 are going to be projecting onto you this perfect, most amazing personality that they want you to have after two, three, four weeks, three months for some of you, for a lot of you, it's three months. Guys come to the realization that you're not what he imagined you to be. Now, this actually isn't your fault because what he imagined you to be is someone who's absolutely perfect and makes no mistakes. The problem with that is none of us single human beings, including him, is ever going to be or ever has been perfect and devoid of mistakes. A great one and honestly, probably the most important one. So please pay attention. Bait and switch. They know if they meet a woman who is looking for validation and looking for uh, a sense of their own self-worth through me, the man, if I come to her at the beginning and I make it look as if I'm super hyper interested in her at the very beginning, that's going to feel like a drug. You're going to take a whiff of it complimenting you, telling you you're beautiful, telling you how amazing and smart and intelligent you are. When he makes you feel so desired and then he takes that interest away, you are left void. You then start seeking to get that feeling back. So what do you do? You start chasing and pursuing after him. You're not necessarily chasing him, but you're chasing the feeling of having him be interested in you. Once again, you get on your hands and knees, you put your maid outfit on and you start scrubbing that floor squeaky clean while you look up at him and beg him to see you and notice you. And the thing about it is once you're in that position, he has won because the whole purpose of the bait and switch, right? Which is why he shows the interest in you and then disappears is that you will eventually begin chasing after him and you will eventually become the man. Essentially, you'll be the pursuer. You'll be the one pushing this relationship forward. You'll be the one scheduling the dates. You'll be the one taking him out. You'll be the one giving him princess treatment because they're hoping that you'll be in such a down bad place in your life and emotionally when they disappear that you'll then begin chasing after him and he has won. Told you this is a war. This is a war of power.